Hello, this is Miss White and we're now on our third lesson on time. And today we're going to look at converting time. And the way we're going to convert it for this lesson is converting it from an analog clock to a digital clock. So if we look at the page, I'm going to take my face off now. So you move that. And if we look at the page, we can see here, we have an analog clock and here we have a digital clock. And it's how we move the times from one clock face to the other clock face. And here's some more language that we've been using. This is looking how we tell a time and the use of the bar model, which we've used in the last few lessons. Right, here, we're just going to go over what I've just said. And for an analog clock, we have the two hands with the small hand being the hour hand, the longer hand showing the minutes. And these two hands spin or move around the clock to tell us the time. Whereas on a digital clock, we know the exact numbers that we've got. And we normally have four numbers to tell us what the time is. When we look here, on our digital clock. The slight difference here is that this digital clock has got four numbers, move back, and this one has only got three. And it has the three numbers when it goes from one o'clock in the morning up to nine o'clock in the morning. And then after that, we'll be using um, the two digits here. And the digital clocks have an hour and minute display and they separate the hours and the minutes with the colon here, which are the two dots. And the hours go first, they're before the colon, and the minutes are after the colon. And that works really easy for us to tell what the time is. Right, here we are, we have this um, example here. We have spies, we're doing some spy detective work, so these are our spies. I will meet you back here in an hour and a half. So that's one and a half hours, okay? And this is the time that it is now. And he's saying, right, we're going to come back in an hour and a half. And this spy says, oh, wait, my watch is wrong. Let me change it. So let's find out what the time is saying here. And we'll look at our hour hand first and we notice but the hour hand is very close to the three. So it's three o'clock, something around three o'clock. And then we look at the minute hand and we look at how many minutes past three. So it's done five, six, seven. So it's seven minutes past three. So how would we write that on a digital clock? And we would have the hour first. So if we look over here, we've got the three and then 307 is how we would record that. So the next thing we ne need to now work out is what would these two, um, the clock and the watch look like in an hour and a half's time. So let's go from digital, it's really easy to do it in my mind, that's what I think. So we've got 307. So the first thing I'm gonna add on is one hour. So 307 in an hour's time is now going to be, and we look at that, 407. So that's 407, and now half an hour. And we know that there are 60 minutes in one hour. So if there's 60 minutes in one hour, we know there's 30 minutes in half an hour. So we've got to add a 30 onto the four. So it's 437. So that's what it will look like, 437. And then if we have a look at that, we will now try and convert that into an analog. So the four, so we know the hour hand is going between the four and the five. And because it's actually 37, it's past half past four, that hour hand is going to be closer to the five. And this is telling me it's 37 minutes past. So if we do this, we've got 37 minutes past. If we were telling this time, we wouldn't say it was 4.37, we would say how many minutes it would be until it's five o'clock. And the way we do that, we say it's coming towards the five, and then we'd look from this time and go five, 10, 15, 23 minutes to five is how we would tell the time. So that's how we're converting between those two clocks. Right, next question. This is our think together question. So, what will this time look like as an analog and a digital 
o'clock. And here it says, meet me at the park bench. This is our spy at 22 nine in the morning. Right, so we need to think about 20 to nine is the same as how many minutes past what time? So 20 to nine, if we look at this, this here, that will be five, 10, 15, 20, that's 20 minutes to the hour. So that's actually the same as five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 30, 40 minutes past, because we know there's 60 minutes in an hour. So if it's 22, there'll be 40 minutes past. And if it's 20 to nine, it'll be 40 minutes past eight. And so that's what the analog would look like. It's telling me it's 20 minutes before it's nine o'clock. And then the digital would look like 840. And that's what the two times would look like. Here we have four times, and four of them are on an analog clock and four of them on a digital, and we need to match them together. So here I'm going to get my um, pencil ready. And we're going to do the first one. So let's look at this one. We know that the hour hand is traveling from the seven to the eight. And with digital, we know it's always going to be the first hour that we're doing. So it's seven something. And it always tells me how many minutes past seven. So if we do it this way, we'd know that'd be 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. And then if we look at this, this isn't exactly accurate. It should be pointing here and tell me that it's 51 minutes to eight. Sorry, 51 minutes past seven, I've got that wrong. So 51 minutes past seven. And if we look at that, that's telling me how many minutes is it to eight? And if it's 51 minutes past, that this um, minute hand should be pointing more towards that one. It's actually nine minutes to eight. So that's that one. Let's have a look at this one. So we have got the hour hand traveling between the five and the six. And because it's digital, we know it's gonna start with a five. Look at how many minutes past five. So we've got a jump of four, lots of five, which is 20 plus one. So it's 21 minutes past five or 521. Brilliant. Now let's look at this one. Here again, the hour hand moving between the eight and the nine with the digital, we always go to the eight. So let's look at how many minutes past eight. And here we've got 10 minutes straight on winter towards the two. So two lots of five is 10. So 10 minutes past five. So we know this is going to be this one. So let's move that across there, but check, let's check it first. And we have our hand is really close to the four and then we've got five minutes so it's five minutes past four i like this question this is an interesting question to have a look at three children have tried to draw this time on their clock faces and they're drawing six ten in the morning so it's ten minutes past six o'clock in the morning right whose clock face matches the digital time and here we've got a hint which i absolutely agree with first i will look at the hour hand and then the minute hand and we've got to see who's got it right and who's got it wrong so the first thing i'm going to look at is the hour hand six so we want the hour hand on the six so my first question is which one's the hour hand is it the small one or the long one and we know it's the small hand so this one with the small hand here is correct Right, where's the hour hand here? Oh, that's on the 10. So that's not correct. And the hour hand here, that's incorrect too, because the hour hand, the smallest hand, is pointing towards the two. So already we know that Alex is the only one that can be correct, but we're gonna check. And it's 10 minutes past six, so her minute hand, and she's done two lots of five, 10 minutes past six, so well done, Alex has got it right. So what mistakes have the other two made? Well. Bella, if you look at the um, hands on her clock, they're the, pointing the same places as Alex. So she's got the bat right, but she's confused the hour hand and the minute hand, and she's put the hour hand as the long one, and it should be the short one, and the minute hand as the one, wrong way around. So that's what Bella's done wrong, confused the minute and the hour hand. So what's Jamila done wrong? Well, let's have a look. So I think she's counted six minutes here. 
and she's got six minutes instead of six hours and she's got the 10. So she's got confused with her sixes and her tens and her hours and her minutes. So that's what we have to be really careful about when we're um, putting a time on an analog clock. Now it's your turn to have a go. Um, we have sent sheets home with you this week, so you should have these sheets in front of you and it's your turn to have a go and fill them out. And these are the first two sheets and also this one. So you can pause it, fill it out, and then I will do the answers for you in a minute. Right, question one is about drawing these digital times we have here onto an analog clock. So we'll do them one at a time. So 131, so with a um, our hand, we know here we'll start with the hours. So it's going between the one and the two. And we can see that it's 31 minutes past. So the hour hand should be about halfway past the one and the minute hand should be showing us 31 minutes past so we go 30 is to the six because that's half past and one more minute so here your analog clock should look like this moving on to b two is the um hour hand so this time we know it's traveling between two and three because it's 242 and 42 is actually um over half an hour so our, our our hand is going to be way past the two and it's actually really close to quarter to three so it's going to be approaching the three and our minute hand is at 42 so 40 minutes past if we go through it's eight lots of five is 40 and two more minutes so our minute hand is going to be pointing towards there so it's going to look just like that and be careful just when you're marking your work check that you've got the hour hand is the short hand you don't want to make the mistake that we saw in the previous question and our minute hand is the longer one and do make sure your min your hour hand is traveling that hour over over the hour traveling from one hour to the other so here even though it says two it's not pointing at the two it's getting closer to the three this one is really close to the next hour. So this time the hour hand is traveling between the three and the four. And because it's 53 minutes past, that's telling me it's just seven minutes until it's four o'clock. We know that the hour hand is going to be quite close, really close to the four. And then 53, so if we jump 10 lots of five is 50 and three more is going to be up here. So that's what your um, clock is going to look like. The last one, that's a nice one, isn't it? Four minutes past four, so it's only just gone four, so our, our hand is gonna be really close to the four, and it hasn't even, the minute hand hasn't even reached the one because it's not five minutes, it's just pointing towards the fourth minute. So that's what all your analog clock should be looking like. Right, next question, question two. And um, this is where we have um, a time, an analog time, and Emma and Max have both tried to tell the time and they've both made a mistake and we're going to try and find out what is the correct time and what mistake Emma has made and what mistake Max has made and thank you to all of you that have been um, showing me the sheets that you've been um, completing it's really nice to see and I just want to do a quick reminder if you ever get stuck please do come and let me know so let's read this time so here's the hour hand and it's traveling between the 10 and to the 11 isn't it so on a digital, we know it will be 10 something because it's this many minutes past 10. And I've just jumped the gun and put the answer here. And it is 58 minutes. If you can see, this is just telling me it's two minutes to 11. So it's 10.58. Okay, so that's the actual time that we should have. And can you see both Emma and Max have got it wrong? So what's Emma done? Well, I think she's just looked at the clock and she's looked at the first hand is 11 and the second hand is nearly 12 and she's just written 11, 12. And if it was 11, 12, that'd be 12 minutes past 11. So the hour hand would be pointing much closer and just past the 11 and the minute hand would be at 12 minutes, be pointing up over here. So that's what Emma's done wrong. Uh, Max, if we just look here, he's got his hour wrong, hasn't he? Because this is pointing nearly at the 11, he's thinking, oh, it's 11 and then two minutes too. But that would tell me it's two minutes to 12 and the hour hand would be nearly pointing towards the 12. So those are the two mistakes they've made. Question three, here are some ex 
extracts from a spy's diary, convert each time into both analog and digital. So it's just right in the time, once in analog, once in digital. Catch the plane at 12 minutes past two. So if it's 12 minutes past two, we know two is the hour, so two always goes first in the digital, and it's 12 minutes, so it's 2.12. And if we're doing it on the analog, we would say that the hour hands at the two just moving a little bit towards the three but not far and it's 12 minutes past so we go 5 10 11 12 so that's what your digital and your analog should look like at that time meet agent x at quarter to one in the afternoon quarter to one so that means it's not one o'clock it's the the hour before and it's 12 so that would have a 12 here and if something's quarter to an hour we know there's 60 minutes in one hour so if we've got 15 more minutes to make the 60 up it means we've got 45 that have gone past so that would tell me it's 12:45 here and to write 12:45 on an analog we know that 12:45 it's traveling between the 12 towards the one so our hour hand is going to be getting closer to the one here so it's going to be somewhere up here. And the 45 will be pointing towards the nine. So here we are. That's our, um, our hand nearly at the one. And that's how many 45 minutes, because nine times five is 45. So we've got 12, 45. And because it's in the afternoon, we put the PM there. Right, so crack the code by. 17 minutes past six in the evening. Well, I like this, this is quite a nice one to do digitally. If it's 17 minutes past six, six is the hour, so it'll be 6.17. And again, we're going to do this here. The hour hand will be pointing, it'll be traveling between the six and the seven in a whole hour, so it will be close to six, um, but just starting to travel towards the seven. And then we need to find 17 minutes. Well, we know when it's pointing directly at the three, that's 15, three times five is 15. So we need two more minutes, so it'll be just here. And you can see that's what the analog and the digital look like for that time. This question's a good one. It makes you think a little bit. Kate says, it is quarter to 10. My digital clock time has a nine digit in it. My analog clock shows the minute hand pointing to the number nine, but they both represent different things. So we've got to explain what Katie means. And I've decided we've got the times, I've put the times here. So quarter to 10, it's like the time we did earlier on. So it was nine o'clock and it's 45 minutes past nine. So we'd write that on a digital as 9.45. And if you look here, my digital clock time has a nine digit in it and the nine digit represents the hour. So it's 9.45 here. With my analog clock, the minute hand points towards nine. And if we look here, 9.45, this um, hour hand, it actually should be closer, pointing closer to the 10, I would say. But um, it's 45 minutes here. And that's nine times five. Nine times five is 45. So the nine here is representing the minute hand, which is representing 45 minutes. Right, here we have a good question. It is the afternoon. A digital time contains a three, a six, and a five. What are the four possible times it could be? So here we have four blank digital and um, analog clocks here, and we're going to look at the four possible times we could have. So I'm going to do it digitally first, because I can think quite well with it being digital, and then I'm going to then turn it into analog times. And I'm going to do it systematically. So I've got three, a five, and a six here. So I've done it in order here that works for me. So I'm going to start with three being the hour. So I'm going to put three here, and I'm going to write O3. So if I've got this as three, which of these can I use? So it contains one of each in all of them. So for this one, I've got three, and I could have 356, couldn't I? So that's one of my times I could have 356. Now, what if I turned these two digits around? Could I have 365? I wonder if any of you have really thought quickly, no, that won't work. And the reason that is, is because there are only 60 minutes in an hour, and that 65 is bigger than 60, so I can't have that one. 
So now I'm going to move on to having the five as the hour. So I'm going to put 05 here. Okay, because it's a 12 hour clock. So it actually say here, that would say because it's the afternoon, it would say PM and we need to put that in so we're clear. So a five. So now I'm going to use my other digits for the minutes and I can put 36 in. So I can 05, 36. That works really well. Sorry about my writing. So now I'm going to think, can I turn these two digits around and make it 0563? And yes, again, we can't do it because 63 is more than 60. So that wouldn't be 10 at the same time because it'd be a whole hour extra. It wouldn't be a five anymore. So that wouldn't work. We can't have 0563. We'd never see that. Right, now I'm going to go for my six my six here and I'm going to put 06 here and look at these two digits and I can have 06 sorry these two 35 so I can 06 35 and that will be p.m and I'm going to see can I stick with my 06 and turn these two digits around swap their places 06 53 yeah that is the time it's less than 60 so 06 53 and again, that's PM as well. So now I want to have a look at how I would do that using the analog clock. So I'm just going to pause for a minute. Right, so I've had to get rid of the times, but we remember that this one was saying 356, and the analog for that is 356 is the same as four minutes to four. So that would be what that analog clock looks like. This one was 5.36, so the analog for that would be 36 minutes past five. So the hour hand is traveling from the five to the six, and that's 36, so 35 plus one. This one was 6.35, so again, the hour hand is traveling between the six and the seven this time, but moving through, but it's 35 minutes, so it's five times seven is 35. And the last one was 6.53, which is the same as seven minutes to seven. So we can see the hour hand is moving towards the seven and there's seven minutes before it's seven o'clock. Right, reflect question. Explain how to convert an analog 12 hour time into a digital time. And this is where we explain how to do it. So we've been doing this all along and now we're going to explain how we've done it. So the first thing we're always going to start with is the hour. So to convert from analog to digital, I would look at the hour, the shorthand first, and look at what time it is either pointing at or has gone past. So we always look at the first one out of this. So this hour hand here is traveling between the six and the seven. So it's six that we would write down. So we'd put 06 down first. Then we would do our colon. And then we would look at our minutes. Then I'd look at the minute, and I'd work at how many minutes is after the hour. So this time I look at how many minutes have passed and it's seven lots of five. So it's 35 minutes. And I would write, after the colon, I would write those. So I'd write 06 and then the 35 after that. And then if the time was in the morning, I'd write AM. And if the time was in the afternoon, I would write PM. So that's a nice quick, um, explanation of what we have been doing in our lesson. Right, here's some extra resources. So I'm going to give you some time to have a go at this and then I will do the answers. So let's move on to the answers. So question one, look at this. So the time is 15, if you look at that, 15 minutes because that's the hour, that's the shorthand, that's the minute hand, three lots of five, 15 minutes past 10 which can also be written as 15 minutes past 10. The digital time, so if we were turning that into digital, would be the hour first, 10, and then how many minutes? Three times five is 15. And then the next question, write each of these times into the digital format. So we'll do just as we did for our explanation. The hour hand is traveling from the one to two, so we put the one first, how many minutes past? Five lots of five is 25, one twenty-five. This one, the hour hand is traveling from the three to the four. So we write the first hour first. So it's three, how many minutes passed? So it's six lots of five. So it's 
3.30 here. Right, this one. This hour hand is really close to the 11, but means it started at the 10. So it's so many minutes past 10. And if we look around here, the eight shows us it's 40 minutes. So eight lots of five is 40. So 10, 40. And even though this time is very close to the two, because it is actually five minutes to two, we would write it digitally as the first of the hours. So it's coming from one to two. So we'd put one and then one, and it's 55 minutes because it's just five minutes off of 60. So 1.55. Right, now moving on to question two. Record the time of each activity in digital format. So I've got to read this and convert it into digital. So netball was sometime in the afternoon. Our hand again, traveling from the four to the five. It's halfway through. And if you look at this, the minute hand is straight on the six. So it's 4.30. So I'd write that as a digital as 04.30 p.m. If you decided to convert that into 24 hour, that would be the same as 16.30 and you wouldn't need the p.m. there. Right, football is in the morning and it is this many minutes past this hour. And you can see it's traveling from 10 to 11, but we're still on the past side of the clock. So it's 15, so that's three times five, 15 minutes past 10. So digitally, I'd write that as 10, 15. And um, AM, if you were doing it at 12, if you're doing 24, you'd just write the 10, 15 because you'd know that would be in the morning. Rock climbing in the afternoon, close to the evening. So it's traveling from the six to the seven. So it's going to be a six something. And we're now going this many minutes to seven, aren't we? Five, 10, 15. So it's 15 minutes to seven. But when we do it digitally, we do how many minutes passed. So that is nine times five, which is 45 minutes, four lots of nine times five, nine good lots of five. So 45 minutes past six. So 6 45 p.m. If you were doing that in a 24 hour clock, you would add 12. So you'd make that 18.45 and you wouldn't need a PM. Roller disco is in the morning. And here we've got the hour hand first and we're traveling from the 11 to the 12. So it's 11, how many minutes past? It's um, 5, 10, 15, 20 minutes past 11 and that's AM. So in a 24 hour, you'd just write 11.20. Alfie leaves home at the time shown. So let's work out what time is. And we can see that it's actually um, traveling from um, the seven and moving towards the eight. So it's nearly at the eight. That hour hand looks very close to me to the eight. I think it should just be a little bit less close, but it is traveling from the seven to the eight. And we can see it's five minutes to eight. So it should be just there really, to show me it's on the eight. So it's five minutes to eight. He arrives at school 47 minutes later. What time would his watch show, which is digital? So I'm going to add um, 47 into two chunks. I'm going to partition it into two chunks. And I'm going to split it into five here because that would take me all the way up to eight o'clock. So 47 can be partitioned into 42 and five. And I use my five minutes to get to eight. And then I know it's going to be 42 minutes past eight or 8.42. Here are some more extra resources for you to have a go. If you just pause the video now, answer questions on the sheet and I will give you the answers in a moment. Right, here are our answers. Now, Keela converts the analog time to digital format. Here is her answer. Right, explain what Akila has done wrong and what should the digital time be. So I'm going to just read the time here. And my hour hand is traveling between the two and the three. Look at how many minutes passed. So we've done five, 10, 15, 20, and then there's two jumps, 22. So it's 22 minutes past two. Well, Keila has done 22 and she's done the two. But the thing that she's done wrong is the 22 should be in the minutes, so it should be here, and the 02 should be in the hour, so it should be here like this, 02, 22. So she's recorded the minutes and the hours in the wrong place. Right, investigate. On a 12 hour digital clock, over 12 hours, how many times does the number four appear? 
well, this is a lovely investigation. I'm just going to give you a hint and you can work out whether you got this right. So if we start 12 hours, why don't we start and do it systematically and start it from one o'clock and then go all the way round to one o'clock 12 hours later. So for one o'clock, you could have four minutes past one. You could have 14 minutes, 24 minutes, 34 minutes, 44 minutes. So you've got two fours there. 54 minutes and also don't forget you've got 140 as well so that's how many you can have for one hour and you've got to do it over 12 hours so work out how many you get in one hour and then do it and add that all up for 12 and then remember at um, four o'clock you will have 404 440 414 424 434 so you'll have even more fours so if you can find the answer can you please write it on a blog to me and tell me how many fours there are over 12 hours well done jack arrives at the train station at the time shown right so we're going to find out which trains could he actually catch and look at what time he gets at the train station so let's tell the time so the hour hand is traveling between the nine and the ten Right, so it's nine something, isn't it, in the morning? And then let's look at how many minutes passed. So that's 30, you know, that's 35. So he arrives at 9.35. So could he catch the 9.25? No, it would have left before he arrived. The 9.45 absolutely could have caught, caught, caught that one. He'll be there at 9.35, so he'll have seven minutes to wait. So that works really well, that'd be a good one. Could he go to Leeds on the 10.03? So he arrives at 9.35, so he'd only have to wait for 28 minutes and then he could catch that one. What about the 7.10 in the morning? Well, actually, that's over, that will have left over two hours beforehand. So the only two that he could have caught is the Bramley and the Leeds train. Right, I would like to say thank you very much for taking part in this. And I hope you're getting on with telling the time and I will do you another video next week. Do let us know how you're getting on, either tell your teachers or tell me, put something on the blog and let us know and I look forward to um, doing the next one with you soon. Hope you're all well, you're getting on well with all your family, there's not too many squabbles and arguments and remember, stay safe. Thank you very much.